Welcome back to Chroma Pier. Um, what's it like to be back in Chroma with us? Uh, well, it's very windy, but it always is when I come to Chroma, and uh, and I expect a friendly audience. They're renowned for being one of the friendliest crowds along the coast, so it should be a good night. I don't know how many times I've been here. Um, I've probably been here more times than probably since Noah built the first lifeboat here, I would guess. Um, and the show was in black and white. That's how long I've been going. Um, but it's one of my favourites. It's uh, a very, very, very nice place and I always look forward to it. Um, could you tell us about your experience working on the summertime specials, which uh, sound quite similar to our uh, seaside specials we run in the summer here? Summertime special was... a. Um, sort of an ITV spectacular that I think began about um, early 80s, 1982, 83, 84, somewhere around there. And, uh, and it travelled around the coastline of Britain, basically doing what you do here, uh, but obviously with the really big, big, big stars, you know, of telly. Um, and it was always presented by someone of the moment. Um, so if you're, for instance, if you were in Bournemouth, there would be an act from the south and if it was up north in Blackpool you'd have I don't know in his day Les Dawson or you know the like Tom O'Connor uh, I did it in um, I presented it in Bournemouth uh, at, um, at the uh, big pavilion place there and it it was one of the shows that is sadly missing on British television today whereby um, they had so 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 many different acts uh, family acts you know that's what it was it was all about and uh, it was a massive show. I mean, you, you're talking 15, 16, 17 million people. Um, a huge Saturday night show. And it was a great way of it getting exposure. And they're the sort of shows, in my eyes, that I'm missing today on British telly where people don't get a chance unless they're in some stupid talent show, which I'm not in favour of. And, um, and I think just someone who just does three or four minutes and has a chance to build their name up is what's desperately needed in show business right now. I first appeared on Countdown 19 years ago um, and uh, it was presented at the time by a guy called Richard Whiteley and uh, I met him when I was playing with, um, um, doing a show with um, uh, Vanessa May, the violinist, and uh, I enjoyed working with her because um, we often got mistaken as twins. and. Um, and on this show was uh, Richard Whiteley, and I said to him, oh, I love Countdown, I'd love to come and do it. And he said, yeah, yeah, come up. Dictionary Corner is where you, if you don't know the show, a lot of people don't know Countdown, especially if they've got jobs, because it's on in the afternoons. Um, <laughs> unless they're burglars, then they would know very well what the Countdown is. Um, but you sit in there, and you have to come up with nine-letter words. Um, that's the game. Um, and, and there are some good nine-letter words. There's... Um, a vegetable that's a nine letter word. In fact, there's a vegetable that's a two nine letter word, um, which um, some of you might be burning your brains going, What's that then? Peas? No, no, that's only four. Uh, the actual uh, vegetable that's two nine letter words is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem artichoke. And that's a good one. And there's a football team that's two nine letter words as well. Uh, which is Sheffield Wednesday, and you learn this stuff by um, by uh, um, doing countdown as often as I did. I think I'd sat there more times than anybody else at one moment uh, in the history of the show. And it was the first show that ever went out on Channel 4, uh, and so it has a history, you know. And uh, I'll just tell you a little story about Richard Whiteley before I go, because he was a great bloke, um, a, a really fantastic bloke. And uh, his lady, Kathy, who was in Emmerdale for a while, um, she was telling me about uh, um, once when Richard was in Spain and they were on some beds. And uh, Richard had a drink, because me and Richard used to like to go out for drinks and uh, so on. And, uh, and him and his lady, Kathy, were on their some beds in Spain in their villa. And Richard said to Cathy, do you know, Cathy, what I love about being in Spain is all the beautiful birds you see here that you don't get in England. You know, all the beautiful feathers and the beautiful plumage. And the... He said, look at that bird up there. He said, look at the beautiful ultramarine feathers on that bird. Bear in mind, Richard had a drink. 
and all those yellow, those lovely yellow colours on his wings. And Kathy turned to him and said, Richard, don't be stupid, that's a crisp packet. And we told that story at Richard Whiteley's funeral when I pass it on to you today. All the best.